hi guys welcome to my channel my name is joris jordan and then um this channel's name is called um, business for cash and i hope that you're going to continue to listen and to pay more attention to every detail of whatever we're going to share here the first thing i would like you to do that is going to be serious so you need to subscribe you need to subscribe it you need to subscribe it just like it and share it and subscribe it because there's going to be more detailed experiences of my business life and other business like going to be interviews of other successful business uh, owners in this city and in america here and then i'll be very glad to share them with you because trust me i have been there as a business owner as a business owner i've been there so i know the implications i know the dangers i know the portals i know the strategies and i understand things better now than you are because you are now just about to start it so i can explain and tell you more detailed issues than than anybody else so please subscribe this is business for cash so please subscribe to this okay all right let's go straight to the point that the few things i'd like to share with you today is starting a business you need to start your business or if you desire to start a business this is for you you this is what you should know about starting a business well the, the first thing i'd like to tell you is start your research do a business research business re, a business research is basically getting some information relating to the kind of business that you want to do any kind of business you want to do whether going into education or setting up a school whether going into food manufacturing or setting up a restaurant whether going into a clothing line or starting a man, uh, um, clothes sewing uh, center whether getting into any kind of business whether sales or marketing you need to understand that the first and foremost have a research know the kind of business you want to do the policies involved the permits that must be acquired and the licenses associated with it understand the business that you want to do whether it is profitable and or not you need to understand some of these things if you don't do your research you may think that your friend or your brother is having a business of that sort and so it is easy and cheaper for you to get into it trust me you are going to be very much disappointed afterwards so make sure that you do your own research and research research does not necessarily mean i mean having a whole lot of um you know uh, things that you must do or things that you know you need to have people and there's that kind of book long kind of research that i'm talking about now is basically going around asking about people especially during uh, in areas or the location that the office is going to set up you need to talk to people your friends your family talk to you know uh, industry players people who are, who are into similar businesses discuss with them let them explain things to you and you to understand have profile if if you can get a mentor who is into similar businesses and then they will teach you they will help you to answer certain questions that are bothering on your mind or probably write down certain questions that you want to them to answer or help you to answer them that is going to help you the second and most important thing when you want to start a business is that have a business plan you cannot be successful without a business plan business plan is like a strategy believe you me any kind of business you want to get into there are thousands and millions of people who have done or about to get into this kind of business it takes a man of strategy to win a war so if you want to be successful and to stand out in that kind of business you need to have a business plan as to how you can move from uh, point a to get to point z draw out your your needed resources your strategic partners your financial strategies and all the things that are needed 
to make that kind of idea that you have in your mind to start as a business make sure that you have a plan to be able to execute and make it successful the third reason or the third important thing that you should have is to have a financial plan without a financial plan as to as to how you're going to finance it as to how you're going to generate your income as to how you're going to avoid losses and all that if you don't have a financial plan you're going to get into these businesses and you will feel disappointed because there are a lot of such business or business owners that are into businesses that are working as if they are working to help people that are working as if they are working to to benefit others remember the basic reason of getting into business is to make cash that is what this channel is called business for cash no one gets into business to help others or to do kind of a charity work then go to social welfare and register uh, 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 yourself as an organization and dash out your money to them but you go into business to make profit to make money so make sure that you have a financial plan if you want to have a financial plan there are three what i call three basic things that you must think about number one is your business in demand number two how are you going to finance the business number three set yourself a target how are you going to achieve your profit target if you don't set that kind of target for yourself in working out your financial plan you will end up giving up in the middle of your struggle so make sure that you have a financial plan the fourth another for another reason that is very important you to know is to have a business structure there is no organization without proper structures in place that can turn out to be successful even in a household if your dad your mom is not there and there are no systems put in place for the house to be run you realize that the siblings or the children start misbehaving in the same way when you are a business owner and you don't have structures in place the traffic will start coming on you the traffic of um, suppliers will start come on you people like clients will start making calls all your phone calls and stuff like that will start coming on you uh, workers will start making um, demands on you every every moment of your time that you must spend to have a clear vision of the direction of the business you're going to spend it on client on suppliers and other stakeholders that may not be necessary so make sure that you have a business structure you know that you have your your marketing team which are the most important people in a business which we fail to do without a, a, a sales and marketing team your business is almost like nothing make sure that you have a sales or marketing team that is going to make sure they promote your business and generate your clientele and be able to bring in income another most important thing that you should have in place in your business structure is to have your um what we call uh, the people that are going to take care of your structures that we call operational team with that operational team you are going to have a lot of problems people that are going to execute the job on the ground especially when it's service oriented businesses you need the operational team to make sure that the client demands are satisfied are met trust me these are things that i'm telling you and i think that without them your business will fail if you know that you have a warehouse with materials make sure you place somebody in charge of the warehouse in charge of your suppliers in charge of your raw materials without that you will have problems always accounting for it no matter what you do make sure that you set department you set systems you set structures in place i know it's it's expensive especially when you are running a small business but 
it's better you have these systems in place than to grow your business to a certain point where without these people who will grow with you, who will understand you, who will understand the business, and they will not be able to do what you must, what you expect them to do in uh, later on. It's better you have them right at the beginning so that it helps you to achieve a maximum result. The last but not the least, most important thing in setting up a business is that finally, after you have gone through the research, making your business plan, making sure you have a financial plan, making sure you have a, a business structure, make sure that your business is registered. Make sure it is registered because if you don't register your business, somebody's going to steal your ideas. You are going to face a lot of fraudsters who are going to defraud you or who may want to defraud you. You are going to have a lot of legal uh, issues or battles that would require those certification. Make sure that you have permits for your business when the, when the need arises. Make sure you have all the licenses that are required in the area of your field. If you are running a business and you are not registered, it's like it's like driving a vehicle without having knowing or not having the know-how. That means you are driving a vehicle without understanding whether it is automatic or manual. If you're not careful, you're going to ditch. If you're not careful, you're going to have problems. If you're not careful, you're going to have accidents that will end up in jail. So make sure that you understand and know the permits and the licenses that are required in that area. It's all part of the the research part that you need to know and make sure that you get them before you actually start is very important this is what we're going to learn for today the second i'm going to talk more about uh, setting up a business as to how to raise funding for your business because finance finances are very important in any kind of business without that make sure you subscribe so that you always get the alert anytime um, a, um, I, I'll, I'll download it. It's very important that you understand some of these things. I have run a lot of businesses. I've gone through a lot of stuff and I know what I, the mistakes I made. I know the kind of things that I did that made me either successful or unsuccessful. So it is better that you learn from me and you avoid them or you, you learn from me to make yourself better. Thank you so much for listening to having time to listen to me. And I believe that we're going to um, be at the same time or be able to have the chance to be able to discuss this again. I'm talking on finances in our next, um, the next episode, so stay tuned. Please make sure you share it, you subscribe, and make sure that you, you also like it as well. Thank you for paying attention to me. I'm grateful.